Hey guys, wow, I just uh, customer dropped off this uh, 2014 Honda Rincon 680. Uh, let's take a look at it. So yeah, 2014, um, this thing's kind of rough. <laughs> and uh, you wouldn't believe the miles on this. I'll, uh, we'll go, we'll look it over and then I'll, uh, I'll let you guys guess the mileage. We'll take a look at the speedometer, but... Um, but yeah, I just gotta go through it, service it, check it out. Obviously, the seat seat cover is toast, um, which is just not a huge deal, but it's missing a little um, compartment cover. Uh, looks like they got uh, what are they? Twenty-eight inch Mudzillas spacers in the shocks, and about rigged up winch system. I mean, it works, I guess, but. Plastic's broken, no big deal, but oh uh, yeah, as you notice, we're missing one lug nut, not a big deal. We'll keep on coming over here, missing a lug nut, not a huge deal. Look at this rim, look at this rim. <laughs> I just couldn't help but laugh, I mean, they, I don't know, they obviously didn't have the right lug nuts. So they put washers on here, and this is meant to taper in. So when you put a wa you know, a flat washer on it, obviously it's not gonna seat in the right position. And they must have ran this thing for a long time like that. They ruined the rim. The rim is junk. Uh, so we're definitely gonna have to get a new rim. New studs, it looks like. Oh yeah, studs are toast. No big deal. Um, but the rim's gonna cost quite a bit unless I can find a used one. Um, and then new lug nut, the right lug nuts, obviously. But yeah, so that's that's a huge issue. Plastics are pretty. This is this thing's kind of beat for for the year, anyways. And uh, battery covers missing. No uh, baffles in there. The uh, Got an ugly looking receiver hitch that is, I don't know if you can tell on the camera. That's about straight, but this thing is like crooked, like bad. Um, now, yeah, you can probably see it there. <laughs> but, uh, so we got our work cut out for us on this. I think they said the front brakes work, but they, I don't know, something's going on with them. Rear, no, oh, they feel like they're there. I don't know. But. I probably better check the oil before I even start this thing up because obviously if it's been neglected like the rest of it, you know, we probably better check it. <laughs> I know it does run and drive, but we should check it. All right. Let's see here. What do we got? It looks a little black, but not horribly bad. But very low on oil, though. Ooh. I'm going to add some to this before I even start it up. Like, it's not even, I mean, barely on the low side of the stick here. It's, it's not great. So we'll start it. I mean, we'll get some oil in there before we start it. But yeah, so we'll, uh, we're not going to start this thing, even though they had it running. I'm not going to start it until I get some more oil on it. But we will turn it on. This is the 680, so it's fuel injected. 900 miles on this. But it does have 418 hours, but that is low miles, you know, for the shape of this thing. But uh, yeah, we'll dump some oil in it and... Uh, Start it back. I started it up and see what uh, she sounds like. All right, so I decided we're not gonna uh, end up. I'm not gonna fill this thing up with oil. It needs uh, needs oil change anyways. So let's go ahead and change it out. Okay, so I changed my mind. We're not gonna fill it up with oil. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and put a or change the oil because uh, it needs it, and uh, there's no sense of even starting it without changing it. So. So on these Honda Rincons, 
you're going to drain it from the back first. <clears throat> and I would definitely recommend, this is a 17 millimeter wrench. Uh, I would definitely recommend warming this thing up first before you go and change the oil. However, it's so low, I really don't even want to run this thing much. There we go. Yes, yeah, so there's actually a uh, O-ring on there, so you want to make sure that's in good shape before we reinstall it. But we're going to let this drain for, I don't know, quite a while, especially since it wasn't uh, warm, so it's going to take longer to drain. All right, so it's been about 20 minutes or so. So that thing is done draining. Now we got to uh, pull the oil filter off of here. So the oil filter is very easy to change. You just got to get a 12 millimeter. Loosen your bolt right here. Most of it should have drained from the uh, most of it should have drained from the oil drain plug, but some will stay in here. So I haven't put the drain plug in yet because I like to get all the fluid out first. Now this just pulls off. Let that drain. Don't want to forget your spring. And then here's your oil filter. Well, it's a little black, but it doesn't look horrible. I've seen much worse. Uh, we're going to go ahead and throw that in there. I'll let that drain a little bit, clean it up. Get our new filter. So what I like to do, I like to take the new oil filter. Make sure your spring is on here. Put that through. I actually put this bolt all the way through. And that'll keep it centered. Now you can just take this whole thing. Slide it on in. And we're good. Just tighten that bolt up, and we'll be good to go. Once we get this all changed, I will, uh, I'll start it up, take it for a ride, make sure everything else is good on the machine, or see what it needs before I get a hold of the, uh, the owner and see what they want to do. And, uh, go ahead and seat that in there. Uh, it doesn't require a lot of torque, just a little bit. Now that that's done, we'll hop back down and put our drain plug back in. Now we can just uh, put our drain plug back in. Tighten that up. Make sure you start start it by hand. You never want to cross thread these things. Get it all the way in. We'll just tighten it up until that crush washer until we think that's gonna seal. It doesn't take a lot of pressure once again. We don't want to strip it out. Okay, so now uh, we're gonna fill this up. And I, I actually get asked this question quite a bit with these Hondas. Um, a lot of people will say, how, I mean, there's gotta be a better way to fill up your uh, oil than to put it in this little tiny hole. I mean, as you can see, that's a very small, you know, it's maybe, I don't know, half an inch or something, but most funnels won't fit in there. This is, this is just meant to check your oil, your uh, oil level. That's it. You pull this little plastic piece off here. And I mean, if uh, a lot of people either don't have the, sir, uh, owner's manual where they don't look because as you can see this is a normal fill hole <laughs> fill plug um, now this is what you should be filling it with 
Now these Hondas, I believe it's anywhere from three and a half to four quarts. So we'll start with three and see where it gets us. I got my uh, funnel, which is a deaf fluid funnel, but it's all right. Now you can, uh, I would recommend using Honda, but if you don't want to spend that kind of money, a jug of this Rotella 540 T6 full synthetic works. Um, I haven't had any problems with it. It's wet clutch safe. Very good oil. All right, so I got about three quarts in there right now. Go ahead and dip this in, and it shows full. I know it's going to take a little more than that because it's got to fill up the oil filter and the, uh, you know, get up to the cylinder head and everything. But we're going to uh, go ahead and just put this away, and I'll start it up for a quick second to get that oil circulating. And then we will uh, recheck it and fill it up again. All right, so let's check it right there. Should be good now. Right on the money. All right, now that we got some oil on this thing, now we can try it out and see what else, see what other problems we can find with it. <laughs> uh, let's hop on. All right, guys. So, um, all right. So I already warmed up this Honda Rincon. We're gonna give it a test run. I'm not gonna drive it too too much because of that rim i mean i can't do much more damage to it than the uh, owner already has um it's got to be replaced but we're gonna try it out i already uh, started this up warmed it up so i could uh try it so start it up as you can hear there's definitely some uh chatter going on could be valves I hope it's valves, uh, those are easy, free obviously, other than labor, um, but it could be, and I've seen it, so yeah, I've seen it in the past where the timing chains have ac actually stretched, that'll make a similar noise, so I'm hoping that's not the case, but uh, I'll see what they want to do anyways, just want to make sure everything else is good on this, but once we get uh, get this straightened out, I'll do a test ride on it. Um, as long as the uh, as long as that's okay with the owner, but I gotta test this thing out to see what works, what doesn't, to make sure full drive works in it. Right now we're in two. Switch it over to four. The light come on. It's a good sign. Yep. So full drive's working, so we don't have to worry about that probably service the front and rear diffs uh, if they want me to that would be my recommendation anyways um, now these Hondas I guess there's no engine braking I thought there was but it just kind of freewheels um, but I do know these things are kind of high geared you only got it's basically a three speed auto uh, transmission you can run it in ESP I'll make sure that works here so we got First, second, third, yeah, so that's working, that's good. Put it back in auto. Um, yeah, no, it's not a bad machine. It's definitely seen some abuse, but uh, but it seems to run good. Everything op operates on it, how it should. So we'll, uh, we'll bring it back into the shop. I'll check it out. Uh, and... Uh, I'll see what they want to do. This is the first uh, I've had Rincon seven. Uh, uh, yeah, I've had Honda Rincon six fifties before, and done a test ride on that. So I'd like to do one on this. Give you guys that. So we'll see what they say. Um, but it will be once I get this thing done for sure. These twenty eight, these twenty eight inch Mudzillas are. Uh, Kind of heavy. See, I'm not a fan of that right there. You hear that transmission? Every time I give it gas, it lets off. And yeah, I'm not a huge fan, but uh, but yeah. Anyways, um, I get this video up, and uh, once I get this thing done, I'll do a repair video on what I find, what happens. 
and then uh, hopefully we can do a test ride video and uh, thanks for watching guys oh yeah remember to subscribe if you haven't <laughs> and go ahead and like this video thanks